fellas, Felitas, boys, girls, ladies and gentlemen. First video back, first proper video back. I'm in the shed. How are we all doing? It is day one on the new journey. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be emptying the shed. We're going to find out what stock is worth keeping and listing. What stock we're going to go to a car boot with and what stock we're just going to bin. And maybe some stuff on Facebook Marketplace as well, just to get some, some funds into the business. So yeah, we're going to be creating a new eBay account. We're going to be a fresh start. So it might be quite a big video. It might be split into a few parts. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, especially with the edit as well. So yeah, I'm excited to get into it. Uh, I hope you're all doing fantastic. Before we do get into the video, hit a like on the video. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Later in today's video, we're going to be doing the, uh, the Amazon gift card giveaway from a previous video. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. I just went onto this cinematic mode. How mad does this look, by the way? Do you like this? Let me know if you do, because I might use this in the future, but it just looks a bit mad. So today's plan is literally going through all of this, all of this, all of this, and just absolutely clearing this place out from top to bottom. Uh, there's going to be a load of spiders in here. So I'm not a big fan of spiders. I don't know about you guys, but... Uh, it's going to be a bit of a bit of a journey today. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get into it. Like I said, we're going to see what's worth selling, what's not, and just pro literally starting from ground zero. So you're going to see the whole journey again, and uh, yeah, hopefully seeing you know progress like this all the way up out of the roof. So what I'm going to do now, I just need to find out where to start because I don't know where to start. It's a little bit of quite overwhelming. But as soon as we get into it, I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll be good. Right, so during my hiatus, my parents started to uh, invade a little bit. So that's there a little bit, so... And that's already created all that space there. So they was, like, taking over that little bit. So just going to start over from this bit, so... Boxing bag, all in boxes. Just go from here. Because this was genuinely... Or generally, should I say. <laughs> genuinely generally unlisted stock on this side so we're just going to go through that first and then come our way around and then this was listed on this side so most of this should be good for ebay maybe some of it not with some of the stuff that was already listed over there we're going to be listing a little bit lower anyway just to get the things moving i'm not going to aim too high with stuff off the rip just want to get stuff out the door get the sales in just get the bank roll moving straight away so i can reinvest it so yeah big job but uh we're underway so just a quick update we've not been going long um a lot of this stuff is rubbish not rubbish but it's like car boot stuff do you know what i mean like some of this is all right but untested untested don't look great not in great condition not in you know what i mean like that's going to be on the car boot some people might say oh you could get 12 quid or whatever just want to get rid um risk i think i'll check and sell even though it's not great money uh Got a couple of jewellery boxes there that I got like RA years ago. Don't sell. Like they're up for 15 quid free postage, not selling. I might take them on the car boots, see if we can get like eight quid. They are brand new. Don't know, probably won't get that. But yeah, a lot of it's looking from this section anyway. From this section. Car boot. We've got a couple more ball games to go through there, but still not great condition. Not great condition. But yeah, the, the stuff will get better. But to be fair, I'm happy to just get rid of a lot of it, do a car boot and uh, sell it really, really cheap. I will actually let you know which car boot I'm going to do and when. Uh, so if you are around the area, you can come say hello. And uh, yeah, hopefully get a bargain off me. So in good condition, you get like 30 quid plus postage on this. Uh, but as you can see, not great condition at all. Not great condition at all. Um, Moldy, dusty. Just not brilliant, if I'm being honest. Uh, you could give it a really good clean up and try and sort it out. But at this stage, I just want to get rid of stuff. Fresh start kind of thing. That'll be on the car boot as well. I do remember seeing the condition on that when I bought it. And I was like, oh, clean that up. Happy days. I think I paid a quid on it. So I'll make a profit on the car boot anyway. A couple of Monopolies probably worth selling. Wrestling one. And then this uh, London one from 1972. That's 15 each on them, maybe a bit cheap on them, wrestling, but easy list them, in good condition, so we can cope with those. Got more crap over here, ready for the car boot, I shouldn't say crap, but uh, that board, a few more games, nothing too special to be honest. 
But uh, it's emptying up. It is emptying up. We'll get in there. This is from a last car boot, actually. You can see. Tried selling one of those Aladdin things last time. Um, to no avail. Look at these little guys here. I do believe Jess brought these over. Uh, shout out Jess. She bought me a bag of stock when I was feeling really low. Um, to try and, you know, reignite, get me listening and stuff. But we are going to get that stuff listed finally, Jess. Big love to and Callum. Big, big love. These have been in here for ages. These are some Nike Air Supreme Pumaras, I think. Like a walking shoe. Um, they're actually mine. It was mine. Need a bit of a clean up. Clearly. But uh, they're not bad. I got these from the Nike outlet at the time. Which is quite crazy to find Supreme in the outlet. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to clean these up, get these listed. They're not worth too much, to be honest. But, they've got to go. They've got to go. Also, if you do spot anything in this video that you're interested in, let me know, because it's all got to go. It is all got to go. Uh, well, moving on now, we'll get this stuff out. That's literally a car boot box from myself. Uh, I think that's more my mum's stuff, to be honest. Um, box from the car boot. So we'll be getting rid of that. So we'll be getting rid of that. There is that bag of uh, stuff that I got off Jess somewhere, but I know they definitely came from that bag. Another piece of Jess's bag, actually. Terry Pratchett jigsaw. It's like a 50 quid jigsaw. She said, I'm not checking it. You check it. <laughs> you can have it. Uh, so yeah, we might check this. Actually, I might pass it on to my nana's partner. He does jigsaws. And then he can check it when he does it. Which is a good idea. Um, but I really enjoy doing it, to be fair. He does, he does love doing jigsaw so it does say on it not checked as well so uh yeah it's a really nice piece of art though terry pratchett famous author but yeah look out for these go and search it up all you need is love and a cat and a john luke video that's all you need in life maybe a ricky one as well i'll do a little story time while um while we're on a little break friday morning City were releasing a 9320 uh, special shirt for the 10-year anniversary of Aguero's goal. For all the football fans, you'll know what I mean. Um, so I went up to the shop at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, and there's only 2012 editions of the shirt, because it, it was in 2012. They were £95 a shirt, so I got two of those. Uh, they are reselling for like 400 450 which is great. Um, I'm keeping both though. For myself um but yeah the story doesn't end there so i was in this store and this camera crew came up to us as i'm rudely interrupted uh, i'll get back to you in a second right so a camera crew came up to me in the store up to me and this girl uh, and he said oh can you just put the shirt on so we get a few shots outside the ground so i did that um like a full-on camera crew you know there's like a couple of couple of cameras and stuff uh just like looking up at the stadium with the shirt on and all this um so that's going to be in a short film on Sky or BT, he said. So that'd be pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, we have to find myself in, in the uh, short film somewhere. But the story doesn't end there. Yeah? Walk round to the statue, the Aguero statue got unveiled that morning, uh, about nine o'clock. And there's a little bit of a gathering there. It's like, um, something's going on here. You could feel it in the air that Aguero was going to be there. So I waited around. Ten minutes later, Aguero turned up. Did a few interviews like with the statue and stuff and signed everyone's shirts and, and all that so it was really cool to meet aguero he signed uh, the shirt i got in the store uh, so i'm going to put that in a frame but I, all, I had a feeling the night before he was going to be there so i took the program from the day 10 years ago from that goal that game with that goal should i say uh, so he signed that program for us as well which is amazing that program on its own is worth about 50 quid now because of the you know the the day and you know what happened on the day but i've never seen a signed one before which is really really cool so i'm gonna put that shirt and the program in a frame together um put that up on the wall so it's a nice little uh, memory for me so yeah hope you enjoyed the little story time but um we'll get back into the actual reselling stuff now um it's going all right not finding much valuable stuff because it looks like i was collecting tat this time last year and that is what i want to change uh, about this time around just picking up quality items, you know, not picking up a load of crap. Um, just being more efficient with it, saving the space. Why would you buy something for three quid, sell it for 11? Yeah, I, I just can't be dealing with it. Just got to keep it effective, efficient. And, um, yeah, be better this time, Ron. Lovely day, though. 
Right, it's a really nice day. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be, it was supposed to be like sunny for an hour, but it's been sunny off and on all morning, all afternoon. So, yeah, going good, going good. But let's just hope that we get a good summer, eh? I'm hoping, praying for a good summer. Got loads planned, so when we're back home, when I'm back in the UK, hopefully we get some nice weather. You see, I've not been away since before COVID. It was 2019 summer. Went to Santa Marina for two weeks. I was in hospital in Santa Marina. That's the story for another time. Um, so, yeah, not a great, great one there. Uh, but what is it like three years later? I've not been away, so it'd be nice to get away. Tell you what, leave a comment down below. Are you going away this summer? And where are you going? I said I was going to go back to work, but I really don't want to move from here. It's like a really nice camera angle. And... Um, it's nice weather. It's getting clearer. The vision is getting clearer. A lot of you guys would have missed him. Who's this? Who's this? Hello? Oh, that's very rude. Very rude. Hello? Klaus? Say hello. Klaus? Hello? Say hello. He's just being very, 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 very nosy. Check this bad boy out, by the way. Um, I picked up a few England shirts a couple of years ago. You would have seen it on the channel if you've been around, uh, which were original. This one isn't. This is a fake, uh, but it's a very, very good one. Um, it's like an 80s Holland shirt. I'm going to have to sell it as like a replica online and, you know, just say it's not an original or whatever. But I don't know. Can you even do that? Leave a comment down below. Might whack it on Depop or something. But someone will definitely buy that and wear it. It is nice. I think it's a fake that was made quite a while ago as well. I don't think it's like a new, new, new fake. Do you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. Interesting. Interesting indeed. We're getting through it though. We've got some more stuff for the car boot in it. A few bits and bobs. And there's going to be some decent clothes on the car boot. Um, some of it's mine, to be fair. Some of my old stuff. Yeah, work progress is being made. You've got some boxing gloves there. I do want to keep a pair for myself. Here's two pairs, so I'll put a pair of those on the car boot as well. Uh, we've got some something up there. Who's that? I've actually started collecting minifigures, so uh, it's a good find for myself, that. Got quite a good collection. If you do find any, guys, in the car boot or whatever, charge it up, let me know. Uh, and I will buy them off you. Cheats! Yeah, he likes that word. <laughs> he knows the word treats. It's his favourite word. You gonna say hello? You say hello. Can I hear someone on the roof? Oh, knew it. On a bald Wonder Woman as well. Pop her up there. I don't recognise these. Certain Mr. Zahir Malik. Giveaway. On that one. Ricky Lee. Giveaway. So I've got quite a lot for PS1 games. But the cases are absolutely dusted. As you can see here. They're a bit of bundle fodder, to be fair, a lot of them. Um, so I'll probably just put like a, a bundle up on eBay with those, just get rid. Um, with this cleaned up, you can get a really good price for this. As you can see, I paid a pound each for those, two pound for the tray, three pound for the teapot. I'm going to take this on the car boot, because I'm sure someone will pick it up, clean it up and, and really look after it. Um, so yeah, that's going to go on the car boot as well. We'll get more than what we paid for it. What did we pay? Seven quid all in. Um, yeah, I think we're missing a little top for one. Possibly fell down the back. Yeah, another piece that's going to go on the... Bear in mind, if uh, none of this sells on the car boot or some of it that doesn't sell, it's going to go straight back to a charity shop or if they don't accept it at the charity shop, just into the tip. Uh, just because we, we just want rid. Fresh start kind of thing. Um, but we've pretty much done that one now. Uh, there's a couple of bits here that we'll probably keep and get sold. Um, on to the next one. This guitar's worth good money. Rick and Backer. However, a little bit of a problem. Yeah, not ideal. So we'll have to test that one. It's like a 50 quid guitar. Look out for it.
Not got any Sunderland fans in the uh, in the comments, have we? Because this is a beauty. This I think it's XL boys. Probably fit like a small men's, but that is a really nice kit. That from your Premier League days, I do believe. That is lovely. Like it's in really nice condition as well. Look at that. Def will go back on eBay. I don't even know. I think it was originally listed. Actually, I was gonna say. What's this one? Arsenal women's. What's that? Size small Arsenal women's. That's nice. That is nice. Maybe a certain reseller's girlfriend could have that. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> a few other bits gonna go in the store. Got this 2006 I Love Man polo. They look quite. It looks quite bad in this light. It's not actually that bad. Um, just needs a little bit of a lint roll on it and an iron. Got a Rochdale shirt. That has got a Rafferty on the back. Any Rochdale fans, let me know. Number two. That's in like brand new condition, that. We've got a Philadelphia shirt. I think this is kids, yeah, 11 to 12 kids. Nice shirt, though. We've got a vintage Scotland shirt. We actually bought two of these on the same day. We sold one for like 60 quid when the Euros were on. This is the other one that we had. So that's uh, from the 90s, that. That'll be going back in the store. We've got this Celtic one as well, anniversary Celtic shirt. Really nice as well. I think this is uh, boys. If it focuses, it is something to do with boys. Large boys or something. Last but not least, we've got an unknown ASAP t-shirt, which was actually my t-shirt. Uh, probably going deep Depop that one, because it is streetwear. Pretty cool. I've, uh, I've spotted something pretty special in here, in this one beneath. Oh, there's a spider there. We don't like... Ah! We don't like those. Yeah, pretty special hoodie here, which is going to get put in the wash, and we're going to get it on very soon. It is the only cool stuff official merch. Leave a comment down below if you know. If you know, you know. That's all I'm going to say. So that won't be getting sold. Um, when we've got female women's, female women's, that doesn't really make sense. City polo, very nice. Uh, what have we got there? Super dry coat. And another jacket underneath. That looks a bit funky. Put on car boot. None of you lot called Paul, eh? To Paul, happy birthday. Mark Hughes. Not sure why I bought this. But it's signed by Mark Hughes. It's a print from 93, I think. 93. Take that on the car boot as well. All this stuff now that I'm putting back on the shelf. All for the car boot. So this whole racking will probably be car boot stuff. So in a couple of weeks this will be completely clear. Because we would have done a car boot. And the rest of it will be gone. If it doesn't sell. Got any uh, Sidemen fans in here? This is from Zerka's first ever drop. It's at RK London. Bought this years and years ago. We're talking seven years ago. I was in college at the time. Well about... Six years ago, five six years ago, we have Medusa T. Gonna get that on eBay, I reckon. Decent price. I'm not sure the vehicle that's about to be honest, but not a great colour either. A few old controllers that are gonna be on the car boot. Snares, some uh, is it Mega Drive as well? Yep, and a Mega Drive power block. Some take taking some quality stuff to the car boot. I can't lie. Um, like I say, just want to clear out start fresh some of this is going to get listed of course but for the most part we just want to empty this empty this out right so we've had a pick through all of this side here now all of this games some clothes some shoes etc etc figures all sorts this is all ready for the car boot so all this stuff car boot we don't sell on the car boot in the bin in a charity shop somewhere somewhere far from here all this stuff over here is going to get listed uh some decent stuff bongos decent pair of dunks there decent pair of converse some footy shirts etc etc comics i'm going to sell these on facebook i've had these for absolutely donkeys want to get rid of them uh costumes these steadily sell for like 12 15 quid kylo ren is the main one in there i think there's like majority of those um all that is left is obviously to get right in the back just in case there's something around there. Give this bit a tidy. Obviously, all this is going to get listed as well. There is some good bits and pieces over here. So this is clothes I've already sorted out today. 
some more decent footy shirts and stuff. I do want to clean in the packaging area, clear it out, tidy it up. Um, and then all it is is over to this stuff, which was pretty much all listed. So a lot of it will get relisted. Some of it won't, some of it might take to the car boot. But there is some decent stuff in there. Nothing brill, you know what I mean? But uh, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, it's getting a bit late, so I'm gonna call it a day for today's video. Um, I'm gonna head off to the gym now. In future, we'll get some gym content, but uh, just not today. We're gonna try and get this edited tonight, hopefully out tomorrow, so just wanna get a quick turnover on it. Uh, and then tomorrow I'm going to pick up straight again, do the other side and uh, film that, of course. Um, and then we should have a proper functioning shed there. Everything's in order. We know what we're selling. We know what we're getting rid of. And then I'll let you know about the boot sale I actually go to to sell that, which we'll be filming as well. Yeah, I'm going to film this Sunday as well. Um, it's the City Villa game. Um, we need to win to win the league. So it might be a QPR type situation. Hopefully not. Hopefully we turn them over straight away. Uh, Liverpool do play tonight though, so they might drop points. Definitely won't. They're definitely going to win. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a bit of a match day vlog on that, which will be pretty cool, something different for the channel. Uh, this will be out before then, uh, I'm sure. And I'll be filming another episode of two in the shed this week. So there'll be loads of content coming soon. I appreciate you all for watching. Before you do go, hit the like button. Oh crap, we've not done the Amazon giveaway, have we? Right, I'm going to start that giveaway. I'm doing the giveaway, sat here in the garden. 192 unique comments, so the winner gets a £10 on the gift card. So let me just scroll down, start raffle and pick random winner. So good luck, good luck, good luck, here you are that. Aspire Consultancy, really good to have you back, started watching you during lockdown and I have resubscribed. So you are the winner of the £10 Amazon gift card, so yeah, leave me a message on Instagram, the link down below and we'll get that sorted. Thank you very much for your comment. Yeah, so I almost forgot that. Um, good job I didn't. So yeah, before you go, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, all the above. And um, yeah, I'll see you very soon. Peace.